Hello guys, it's Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And we are just landed on DS Lite Island. I have one of these in my, in my desk drawer, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't know why we're here, but it actually is kind of cool. Like, I like I like this type of breaking the fourth wall in video games. In fact, I like breaking the fourth wall in video games. I never get why people- well, I guess so. I do get why people don't like it. I shouldn't say I don't get it. This is, um, the A and B and Y and A's buttons. This here's this screen, that makes a lot of sense, that's really cool. I never usually like pick topics for the, what to talk about, but I do talk about the stuff that's not in the game, but I actually did want to talk about some today, and I want to kind of bring it back to kind of like what I did with Skyward Sword. Um, well, let's go back down here for a second. Today I want to talk about me being bad at Zelda games. And I'm dead serious about this. Busy, busy, so busy, I have no idea where I should even stop, but uh, Okay, have fun with that. We are too busy, so there's no time to help my dad. I bet I bet there's not. Um, but yeah, we're gonna talk about that today. Me being bad at Zelda games. A special challenge called the Goron Game will be opening here soon. But we are behind in our preparations, boy. Do I need to hire a part-timer? Boy, do I need a part-timer. I, should, I shouldn't have said it like, boy. Um, now, it's, it's something that, like, I think people have pointed out in the past, some in very nice ways and some in very bad ways. Uh, but, like, the thing is, I think a lot of times people just, like, want to critique how I'm playing and it makes me a better player. I think that when it came to Skyward Sword, a lot of people will exit on the upper right. Thank you. Um, it, it, it has helped me a lot when people critique me, especially with Skyward Sword, because after people started critiquing me with Skyward Sword, I got better. People gave me more ideas on how to actually play the game a bit better. Um, by the end of the game, I felt like I was utilizing strategies that were given to me by people who were watching and then it made me better, which means I'm not talking about, you know, like, I'm not talking about the, why people think I'm bad, I'm talking about why I am bad at Zelda games. And I feel like it's something I really want to talk about. And I feel like it's something that, like, I guess some... You shovel hit something. A beehive? No! I... Oh god, it's one of my biggest- I don't- I don't mind bees in real life, but bees in games, they're always vicious. Um, oh, you can kill them, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess I'll first say... What the- oh god. I guess I'll just start off this whole topic by saying that yes, I know. I know I'm not very good at these games. At all. I know it takes me a while to understand basic concepts. What, what, no, snakes? Okay, leave me alone. Okay, I'm gonna freaking leave this place. The treasures aren't worth it. Um, and I understand that, and I'm okay with that. Um, I don't think you have to be good at a game to enjoy a game. Oh my god. But I think it's it's it's, uh, it's it's important to understand that I have no arrows. Oh, we can get them from the corner. Will you guys stop for two seconds? Like, I love you. Oh my god, we're actually in trouble. Okay, okay, okay. Move! Oh my god, am I- like, this is- this is depressing. At least we got our arrows, at least we'll like, come back here anyway if we die. And he's dead now, so this is gonna get like, a million times easier. Now, like, the thing is, like, I, I this is something I kind of wanted to talk about for a really, really long time, by the way, this, this topic that I brought up, of me being not very good at... Uh, me being not very good at Zelda games, and it's kind of something that I feel like it's, um... It's not brought up by a lot of people, because I feel like a lot of people try to give me, like, tips without saying, hey, like, without saying, like, the definite truth, which is, Calvin, you're pretty shit at this. Um, and I'll do, I do feel like I get better. I do feel like it's important to say that, like, I know this is, like, kind of, like, suicide when it comes to, um, a Let's Player. 
you know, you're supposed to always, like, up yourself, I think. You're always supposed to make yourself out to be a little bit better than you are. Um, which I understand. I understand what the whole freaking thing is. So we came here to get a power gem, I guess, is what we got. Let's go down. Let's go back to where we were going. I actually want to go see the traveler ship again. I have to see the ginger guy again. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's just sail back. But the reason why I play Zelda games is not like to become like this epic Zelda player to become or to get this like prowess in video games. Um, the reason I play uh, Zelda games, like straight up, is because I really, really got attached to this. I like I don't want to say an Ocarina of Time, but I think with Twilight Princess, I definitely got so attached to the game. Like so, what do I? What enemy? What enemy? What enemy? I can't also these these guys. I definitely got so Oh, go. So attached to the story that I didn't really want to like like and at this point like it's it's become a thing where like I really really freaking love Zelda. And what the fuck? I haven't been here before. What the hell is this? This is completely different from the ship that I saw before. Hello. Oh, how very strange. All of a sudden, I can't see a thing. Ho oh, oh. ho. Hmm. How terribly rude of me. I'm a member of the Ho Ho tribe. Yes, indeed. I came here from the country way away, across the ocean, looking for treasure. Certain items of treasure to the people of the way way and I'll buy them from you. I'll buy them for far more than any other generous store around here too. What do you want to sell? Give me something. What do you sell? Hello. How how? Oh treasure. Where do you slumber treasure? These guys are freaking awesome. Look at this. Look at this thing that I found. I just stumbled across this. Hello. How how? Okay, what a sight. These guys are obviously not gonna... I obviously need to find some stuff that they probably want to buy. I'm not quite sure what they want to buy, but I'm, I'm gonna find it. So, Jolene is here, so... I wanna go around here. I think you have to break the ice around this island. And hopefully we can do it before Jolene gets here. Um... Oh shit, she's actually coming up fast. But yeah, um... My love, like, my love for Zelda goes way beyond. Oh, okay. Do you see it already? Charred a course around the icy island, and obliterated all with the cannon. I know it gets annoying for some people to watch, um, you know, someone play a game that they love so dearly in one of the stupidest ways possible. Can these guys actually hit me or they just, oh, they can't, maybe they can. It'd be nice if, like, they would leave me alone just for this, like, just because I ha like, I'm, I'm kind of busy. So we're knocking them down, I'm not sure how effectively, though. <laughs> So I guess technically right now we're a part of the islands because we can only see the the, the, the the one shape of the island. So I'm assuming that we're like somehow part of the like we're in the island now. But yeah, I just wanted I just wanted to say that guys, I, I feel like a lot of times on YouTube, or not a lot of times on YouTube, a lot of times in life, because I found it when I was younger, when I was in primary school, a lot of times like kids would be like, why are you playing that game? You're not good at that game. And all I'll say about that is that I... Oh, no, we got that. We got that. Is that, like, I really like Zelda. And even if I am the worst player in the world, I'm going to continue to play it. Over and over again. By the way, this isn't, like, in response to anything or anything like that. It's just something I've been thinking about because, you know... Um... There are games that I'm actually... I feel like I actually am good. I'm good at Dark Souls. I'm good at Shadow of the Colossus. Um, as you can see on my channel, I have a couple of playthroughs of Dark Souls and Shadow of the Colossus where I actually think I do very well. Um, 
But like, I don't choose to play them a lot because I feel like they're not as good. I don't know, like, the, not that they're not as good because I think I prefer Shadow of the Colossus to like almost every other game in the world. Alright, we blast all the ice and send it sinking into the sea. Hey, I wonder what kind of bizarre creatures are. Oh, okay, we'll, okay. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll go out there now. Um. I think it's just more like, you know, Zelda playing on this channel is just so much fun because it's not even like, I'm not playing it by myself ever. I think Breath of the Wild is like the first Zelda game that I played. No, no, Link, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. I played um, Link Between Worlds all by myself, actually, so that is that is a butt face lie. But like Majora's Mask, I can't imagine playing that game. You okay, Link? Okay, let's stop. I can't imagine playing Majora's Mask by myself, that would have been, like, such a different experience. I'm playing, like, Breath of the Wild, although I play Breath of the Wild constantly, like, out, out, outside the Let's Play, I still think that, like, playing that game, like, on camera with you guys commenting and you guys saying, oh, I like this part, I like this part, cha not only, like, it doesn't just change an opinion, but, like, it forms different opinions and creates different things in your, no, like, like, it, I can't imagine, like, playing these games without that communal experience. Well, kid, I was wondering what it'd be like to walking on a big ice chunk. And now I know, it's real frosty. Oh my god, this place! Achoo! As cold as it is, it warms my treasure-seeking heart. We're a bit, uh, down in the dumps. Hello, sir. You guy, you came from out there? Outside the ice? Hey, what's your deal? Never seen a Noki before? You're gonna stare all day at us? Or can you talk too? What? You wanna know where the pure metals are? How should I know? You gotta take a question like that to the island chief. Yeah, okay, I will. Have fun. Have fun with your life, man. Isla Frost. The island chief lives in a house in the hills in the northeast. I can see it. No, that's the dungeon. To the northeast. Or maybe that is his house. Hmm. Let's go into every house we can, though, because we don't know what's going to happen, like, or, or who's going to... Oh, this guy's cooking some lobster. Nobody thought the trouble between the Inoki and the Yuke was a good thing. So we Inoki and those hairy Yuke got together 100 years ago and entered into a little peace agreement. I see. Was it fair? Yeah, it was fair. Yeah. Very interesting. Like, legit, like, interesting. I'm not just trying to be like... Oh, how interesting. That's actually really cool. Hello. The Yuke tribe that live over in the ice fields to the east are crazed animals. Those beasts are so crazy, I don't even want to get into it. That's crazy. That beeping sounds probably annoying the crap out of people. Hello. You guy, did you hear the big news? One of those hairy Yuke has sneaked over here. Huh? What do you mean? I didn't hear about it, man. I honestly didn't hear about any hairy Yuke. And honestly, like, I'm not going to say it's racist because I don't know what's happening, you know? Maybe they're actually, like, a, a group of people that have actually, like, murdered your people and I don't want to butt in in your civilization. How, the pure metal Azurine? What are you doing asking me about something important like that? So it's the chief. At this point, it's just plainly the chief. Oh, I forgot to do the voices for him. Hey, it's okay. Anuki Estates. <laughs> This place is beautiful. This place is utterly beautiful. Fofo's house. Okay, let's see all the names of the houses here. Kumo's house. Kumu's house, I should say. Dobo's house. Oh, Dobo. Everyone knows Dobo. Gumo's house. I'm sorry if I brought a downer on this video by talking about how bad I am in Zelda games, but... Aru's house. Mazu's house. Mazo's house. Okay, we should probably go into all these houses. I'm still, like, the, the low on health. Hello. What do you want? Not that I have anything. Very, very funny. This whole place is brilliant. What do you want? Or what I should... Hey, guy! What are you doing walking in here and you don't... Like, you own the place. Oh, my God. Look at this. Wait, no, I have to go back in here for a second. This game is freaking beautiful. This is a DS game. This game came out on the DS. Don't you ever besearch, bespeech, shit on the DS again, okay? This is freaking beautiful. Let's go over here.
Hey, guy. What are you doing walking here like you, uh, you own the place? Okay, so I, I'm guessing a lot of these guys, unless we're instructed to otherwise, I think we should go see the chief that's up, obviously up on that hill up there. And... Because I think these guys are just going to give us the same story. Which I, I, I can understand. Ah! No! Oh my god, my purple potion! I paid like fucking 150 rupees for that! See how I said rupees, guys? I'm getting better at Zelda. <laughs> I used to say, go no god, oh god, um... How do I get up here? Hello? It's a woolly world we live in, guy. Woolly and hairy and wild. Daydream for a second and they might get you. Poof, you're gone. Just like that. Jesus, you guys are overreacting in every constant way. Maybe not. Maybe, they're, maybe the world is actually pretty freaking dark. Island Chief's house. Let's go. Man, I love this. I love how, like, each culture is so extremely different because that's how islands work. It's like... Oh, my God. What are you cooking, man? You look like you're cooking, like, beans or something. Spinach. You guy, I'm the island chief, I'm Lurky. You got a name, green guy? What do you say about Linkaba? So, Linkabo. <laughs> Linkabo. <laughs> my tribe's been having this trouble lately. I thought maybe you'd take care of it for us. Um... What's that you say? You're actually saying your name's actually Link? You sure about that guy? Alright, alright, whatever you say. Anyway, you wanna know about the other line, right? I scratch your fur, you scratch mine, huh? I guess. Well, this might get a bit long, so make yourself real comfortable. We and Oki have got an enemy on this island. They're the Yuk. There was a lot of bad blood between our ancestors. So a hundred years ago, we made an agreement. The Anuki live in the west, and those hairy Yuk live over in the east. And the great ice field. That was the deal, but now some tricky Yuk have snuck over here. And he's taking one of our villagers! Now he's pretending to be him and living with us, all comfortable like. And now we come to the part where I need something for me. Find the Yuk who's impersonating a villager and kick him out! Did I get all that? I got it. Yeah, I got it, dude. Yeah, all right. Go to the Anuki Estates up north, Link. When you get there, oh, sorry. When you get there, you gotta figure out which guy is actually the Yuk. Yuk are liars. Every one of them. <laughs> it sounds so bad. Is it just me? Is it just me? This one are liars, so don't you be gullible. Maybe if I find him, I might tell you where the Azerite is, just saying. Wow. Wow. Guys, I'm sorry, but I'm looking up- I'm looking up Yuke. I'm looking up Yuke to see if it's an actual fucking, like, racial slang. Because Jesus Christ, this- <laughs> It's like, all those Yukes are freaking thieves, man. I'm gonna turn up the volume bit on the TV, I'm sorry. What was that crazy Island Chief babbling about? I get this weird feeling that he's not telling us the truth. But we're here for the Pure Meadows, we'll just have to be careful. Let's go find Yuke so we can get that pure metal link. It does seem like a, um, a, pi a pretty bad. One second, we're gonna look up Yuke. We're gonna look up Yuke. Okay, this is this is the quality content. Uh, K H A T. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that you subscribe to. Okay. Ukulele came out, which I'm actually playing right now. It's, I find it really good. Okay. It's like apparently a slang for like um a poor person. Which I that's mean. Whoever does that is a fucking dickhead. I'll tell you that much. Whoever uses that word is a dickhead. Finances are like something you can't laugh about, you know what I mean? That's like something you never talk about, you know, and you never laugh about to someone about that, you know what I mean? Okay, let's talk to this person. You look like a yuke. <laughs> they call me Dobo. You're looking for a yuke who's a person one of us, right? There's one easy way to tell. You know the yuke are liars. And Mazo's honest. This guy never lies. I just had to get it off my chest. Okay. So this is Mazo. Dobo's house. So he said Mazo never lies. I said, okay. 
Kumo's. Okay, let's talk to Kumo. Okay, which one is it, I wonder? Yeah, I'm Kumo. And yeah, the Yuki you're looking for is a liar, no doubt about it. I'd say either Mazo or Aro is lying to you. Okay, so let's see. Okay. He says Mazu is telling the truth. This guy says Mazo or Aro is lying to you. Okay, so he so Maz, so one for Mazo telling the truth, one for um um uh, Mazo and Aro lying. So who's this? Kumu's house. Okay, let's so let's see if we can find Mazu. Both of us house. Okay, so we have Aru and Mazu are liars. Or and one of them is saying that he's a truthful person. Yeah, my name's Fofo, you heard that right. I'm sure you know this, but the Yuke they do nothing but lie. And Gumo never lies, just saying. Gumo never lies. Mazo's house. Okay, so this is the guy who said one person said he was truthful, one person said he was a liar. Let's talk to him. They call me Mazo. I don't care if you believe me, but me and Dobo don't only tell the truth. Okay, okay, here, here's how we're gonna catch him out. So me and Dobo only tell the truth. Okay, so which one's Dobo? So this guy here, he says this guy's telling the truth, and he says he's telling the truth. So... So they're not, because then if, because if Kumo says that Aru and Mazu are lying, then he's our top suspect, right? Because that doesn't make any sense. Because that would make him a liar as well. If 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 Mazu is lying about him, of Dobo but being truthful, and Dobo is lying about, and that means Dobo would have to lie as well. To say that Mazo is being truthful. So that means both of them are liars. That means both of them are yukes. But that doesn't make any sense. So right now the prime suspect is Kumo. Kumo. Unless there's two yukes. Gumo's house. Okay, let's talk to Gumo. My name's Gumo. Either Fofo or Aru has got to be lying to you. I just wanted to tell you that. Okay, so Aru is also a suspect. Aru is like a main suspect. This is interesting. My name's Aru. Between you and me, Kumo is lying, and I'll leave it at that. Kumu is lying. Kumu is lying. Okay, so she's saying that Kumu Kumu is lying. I'm I'm willing to bet it's freaking Kumo. Kumu. I'm willing to bet it's you. Yes. Okay, let me think about this. Okay. We're gonna figure this out together. I still think this guy's the prime suspect. Like, I really do, but I'm, I'm really- I'm, I'm- So Kumo says that- But he, like... If he says his Mazo is the one, then he's lying then, because it, that doesn't make any sense. He must be lying. Then Aru is saying that Kumo is lying. Um... Let's see how she reacts, or he reacts. I don't, cause it has to, it has to be Mazo, right? Because it has to be, because if like not Mazo, it has to be Kumu, because Kumu said that Mazo was lying. Kumu said that Mazo was lying, and then Aru said Kumu was lying. This is interesting. I have a conundrum on my hands. Um. That's so cool. It's between Aru and, and, and Kumo then. Because if it's not, because officially if it's not Kum, Kumo, it's Aru. For sure. It's one of the two. So Kumu said that it was, said Aru was lying, right? I'm gonna, on a wing on a prayer. Oh, so I got it. Okay, okay. I d I'm just gonna say that's not me. That's just me picking like kind of like randomly because honestly, like I thought it was the other guy still. 
I didn't figure it out myself. I thought that was the other guy. Like, I just did that, like, randomly now. I thought I had an amazing costume. Yuru, you, you look so innocent. You look just like Aru. Don't do anything stupid and try to fight. Turn yourself in. Be quiet. If you yell any more than with a squeaky voice. It drives me wild. Eek, it's some kind of monster. I'm gonna eat you. No, not tasty. Off league. I'm yellow, but I don't taste anything like a delicious fruit. I love Celia. Oh, of course. Well, I could try and make a run for it, but I guess I might as well give in now because I've been caught. As a show of good faith, I'll show you something good. Wait right here. Don't move. That was pretty cool. What happened? That was crazy, wasn't it, Link? We went to all the trouble of finding the Duke and he blew us away. But if we don't do anything, he'll just get away. It's not fair. Well, let's go talk to the Lightning Chief and tell him what happened. So, I'm... I was convinced it was Kumo, Kumo though, because it doesn't make, doesn't t explain to me why I'm being an idiot right now. Because like I feel like if he's if he said Mazo is lying and then Mazo said that Do Dobo was telling the truth, to me it it makes no earthly sense why Kumo is not a Yuk. I don't know, that's just me. I just but it's either it was either one of the two and I picked the other one. I picked the one against my own instincts, which is usually good when I'm playing a Zelda game. <laughs> So that's why I picked her. Okay, so the next one, we're going to go talk to the chief about this. I had a lot of fun doing this, and to be honest, this game is getting more and more fun each time. Um, without the Temple of the Ocean King, this game is fantastic. I'll see you guys very soon.